What up guys, Marty Blends, and today we're going over how to fade and shape up a beard. First up, you want to make sure you symmetrically mark both sides near the sideburn. Quick tip is to guide yourself off the client's ear, then work around that. Comb out the hair, and in this case, my client did have loads of bulk, so the first thing I did now is grab my clipper with the lever closed and shape up the volume. Now you want to hover that clipper through using a 90 degree angle with that blade. Make sure you work patiently and do this for both sides. Alright, now that you've worked on the sides, you want to cut straight and slowly, making sure that lever doesn't fully reach the client's neck, especially if your clippers are zero gapped. Keep coming down, and now use a trimmer to get the small hairs out the way. Line up, but before anything, make sure that client is relaxed because you'll be down there for a while if you want to get it perfect. As for the lineup on the side of the beard, comb everything to the outer part and remove the excess hair. Okay, fading on the beard is fairly simple. With your lever open, make a half inch guideline. With your number one open, make a four inch guideline below that. And right underneath, blend that number one to the rest of the beard by hovering over with your one and a half. Next, close up the lever and erase that line we made earlier. With your half guard halfway open, go over whatever line you're able to see. By now you should be good to go but I went the extra mile and just close up my lever to hit anything left as well as using my corners. Remember detail is key. Alright, trace that mustache to the client's lip line, flip the trimmer and just remove any excess hair. Finally, for the lineup, you want to use a comb and a straight razor. Make sure you stretch the skin before anything and be creative when setting in the cheek line. I personally don't use shaving gel because I like to have a clear view of what I'm cutting, but to each their own. I always guide myself from the ends of the lip line, trust me, it really helps. And guys, here is the final look for this beautiful beard. Okay, here's another example of a more coarse hair type. On this beard, I did go a tad bit lower so you could see more of that burst effect. The main thing I suggest is you follow the steps and make sure you hover around with the high numbers like I'm doing with the number one on here. As you can see, I don't press into the beard because we'd leave a line and we'd have to go lower.
Guys, if you happen to get lost, you can always follow along with the video while you're actually working on the client. There's nothing wrong with that. And also make sure everything you do to one side, you do to the other, same size guidelines and detail. Guys, I just want to thank you for all the support. If you have learned anything so far, please make sure to like this video. Anyways guys, make sure you keep combing when lining up a beard, you'll find that random little pieces of hair will pop out so just keep clipping them off. Alright, in this case, the bottom of the second model's beard was very sensitive, so I did kind of mark and I left it in this video because I wanted to explain that the face is much more sensitive than the actual scalp. On the second one, I wanted to show you guys how cool it looks if a darker beard is filled up with hair enhancements. Now using a beard straightener is a little extra, but it is something I would do if I really just want to give the best quality. I love it because I get a free hand knowing everything is in its place. And here you have the second beard for today. Guys, if you did enjoy this, make sure you subscribe for more and comment if you need help with anything. That's been it for me. I'm Marty Blends and I'm out. Peace. Guys, before we close off this video, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for 100,000 subscribers. It truly means the world. And as a gift back, I am giving away these three sets right in front of me to some of you guys. Now to enter, all you really gotta do is be subscribed to this YouTube channel, follow my Instagram. On Instagram, you'll find a post about this. Share that to your story and tag two friends. Anyways, that's been it for me. I'm Marty Blends and I'm out. Peace.